Praise God for this wonderful moment. It is the joy that we're still here today to tell you that Jesus loves you and He cares about us. Let's just go to the guarding word in prayer. Father, we praise you in the name of Jesus Christ. Father, we're here to praise you, to thank you for who you are. Because of who you are, we're here today. Because of your grace, your mercy, endure forever. Lord, as we're about to go on today with your word, I praise you and I adore you. I invite your Holy Spirit come and flow through us. In the name of Jesus Christ, amen. Praise God for this wonderful day. It is the day the Lord has made. You have your word with you, the book of Luke, chapter 16, verses 23. And being torments in Hades, he lifted up his eyes and saw Abraham afar off and Lazarus in his bosom. Luke 16, 23, and being torments in Hades, he lifted up his eyes and saw Abraham afar off and Lazarus in his bosom. My theme today is like, what is hell like? What is hell like? There are two descriptions of hell in the Bible. One is of a burning fire. Jesus, you often use the word Gehana, Gehana, to describe hell. To describe hell. Gehana was the refused dump outside Jerusalem that was always on fire. Jesus said hell was a place of worms and maggots, perpetual burning. In the book of Mark 9, chapter 9, 43 verses, chapter 9, verses 43, 48, it describes hell as a place of worms, maggots, and fire, perpetual burning. The evil ones the evil ones are full of remorse and torment. In Matthew 8, 12, Jesus described hell is an outer darkness. It's a place it's a place where people are cast down in the darkness. They'll be weeping and gnashing of teeth. Here in the image, it's a terrible image that we get the concept of what is hell like. The evil ones there are full of remorse and torment. Those who are consigned to hell will be put into the inky blackness of eternity with nobody to talk to, constantly alone in the darkness. They will suffer the remorse of knowing they had the opportunity to come into heaven with God and with God, but turned that opportunity down. The Bible, in the book of uh, Matthew 25, verses 41, and he says, Then he will also say to those on the left hand, Depart from me, you cursed into the everlasting fire, prepare for the devil and his angels. See, here, human beings, were not, were never intended to go to hell. Hell is for real. The Word of God is saying here, in the story of Lazarus and the, and the rich man Davis, 
when he was when he died in instance he was in Abraham bosom and Divus was in hell in Hades being torments in Hades he lifted up his eyes and saw Abraham afar off and Lazarus in his bosom it's just a reminder for us today what is hell like it's a place where worms and maggots in the Bible says they are alive and for those that do not come to accept Jesus Christ in their heart will be put into other darkness there'll be weeping and gnashing of teeth that is in Matthew 8 12 that is the Bible it speaks that is a lake of fire reserved for the devil and his angels. Human beings were never intent to go to hell. But those who chose, who choose, who choose to reject God will one day follow Satan right into that eternal torment. There will be no exit from hell. People think that hell is, we go and barbecue in hell. It's a joke, but it's a serious place that you're talking with. I'll just give you an example. I'm just reminding you what Jesus was telling his disciples way back in the days in Jerusalem what is hell like it's a constantly perpetual 247 burning fire where the devil was Satan and his dark angels belongs you do not belong in hell we don't belong in hell no we don't heaven is a place but if we don't, if you don't come to repent and to know and accept Jesus Christ to your life, there's no other way to the Heavenly Father. There's just no other way that you will escape, escape hell. That is what hell is like. Matthew 8, verses Matthew chapter 8 verses 12 but the sons of the kingdom will be cast out into the darkness there will be weeping gnashing teeth Satan and his angels dark angels belongs to hell you don't because you are God's creation he loves you he sent His Son, Jesus Christ, to nail your sin under that cross in Calvary. It's your promise. It's your ticket to the promised land. It's your ticket to heaven. Did you know in hell, the Word of God says, there will be gnashing of teeth, weeping, because the maggots, you know, in hell, the Word of God says in Mark chapter 9, verses 43 to 48, it's out of darkness, weeping and gnashing of teeth. That is where we get the horrible, terrible loneliness, the image of hell, separation from God and man. Those who are consigned. To hell will be put into the inky blackness, eternity, with nobody to turn to, but constantly alone. Death is our loved ones died left and right. Death is inevitable. 
We don't know. We cannot make appointment with death. It just appears. It just comes. We call the doctors and everybody to meet up to make appointment to see people here and there. But death does not call us. I mean death. We don't make appointment with death. That's why it's important that you ask yourself today where you will be spending your eternity if death arises in your door. Where will you be spending eternity? Because hell is dark. Hell, in hell, there's darkness, weeping, gnashing your teeth. There's no exit, just one way. Constantly alone. The maggots, snakes, worms are alive in there. But we still have the chance to come to know Jesus Christ. It'll never be too late. Like Divis, the story of Lazarus and Divis. Our time to know God, to come to God, is now time. That is what is hell like. It's a place that is constantly on fire, perpetually burning, where lives, where maggots and worms are alive. For those that do not come, to Jesus and give their lives to Him. Will one day follow that dark angels sent Him down to that path of hell. And that is what is hell like. There will be no exit from hell. There's no way out. There's no second chance in hell. That is why it's so important in this life to receive the pardon that God extends to all men through the cross, through Jesus Christ. If you're wondering where you will be, I just simply ask that you give your life to Christ, where you may be right now. You don't belong in hell. You are God, child. Only Lucifer, Satan, and his dark angels, they belong in hell. You will it. Please bow your head and receive the prayer to accept Christ in your life. Father, I hear your words. I am sorry. I am a sinner. And in need of a Savior, I ask your precious blood of Jesus Christ to cleanse me, cleanse my heart from all unrighteousness. Search my heart, God, and know my thoughts to be. I give you my life. I welcome you, Jesus, into my heart as my Savior. Praise you, Father, in the name of Jesus Christ. I give you all the glory, honor, and praises for those that give their lives to you, Lord Jesus. I pray your Holy Spirit lead them through your heart. I give you glory, honor, and praise. In Jesus' name I pray, amen. Thank you for watching me as a servant of God. If you don't come today, tomorrow, know that Jesus, He loves and cares about you, and I love you with the love of the Lord.